that you have somebody to represent you especially and he is so close to you just like that king had and this is the worldly king's example and that you will be very close to the real king would you like to have someone who can refer you like that representative and who's so close to the real king always that everything of yours he relates to him yathkuruhu bi khayrihi in other words he explains your good things to the king he intercedes for you he represents you assists you so is there any better good news than this that the prophet says Mr. Muslim being a muslim no one can reject this fact this is rawain ahmad this hadith yes rather i will say i will say allah's mercy and favor that this is the barak of ramadan that such a great hadith has come to us today that alhamdulillah after this a mu'min he should be extremely happy wow great lesson i've learned today we've we've attained a root we're upset we're down we have problems we have sickness always a person is dependent reliant on something we always look for references in the world but they have a limit the world, most of all what can he do is introduced to the king limited to this world but who is the king of the kings subhanallah then imagine what he can give to us human beings forget the dunya he'll give you the whole of the hereafter he will save you in the grave he will save you at the time of death he will save you any time and always the angels of rizq wealth will come to your home even if you don't do dua the angel will say amin before that tell me tell me so allah's nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying to his umma what a great piece of encouragement and preparation and news that we don't understand this point the nafs has surrounded us that we don't desire us. so brothers this point today that has arrived to you mashallah will you do amal on this inshallah say inshallah inshallah look what a great statement great piece of news so allah's nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated that close to allah do you want a representative a reference who always presents your need who mentions you who promotes you when you're down upset distressed you have an issue problem you have a need for something even if you don't say anything he will intercede for you refer for you make a reference so subhanallah then allah's nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated yathkuruna yathkuruna jalala rabbihi yathkuruna jalala rabbihi that when you do the dhikr of allah yes when you say takbir and remember allah's greatness then that dhikr of yours your dhikr subhanallah it will adopt a unique image of noor i'm just giving you a bit of explanation like you're sat and that dhikr will take the form of noor light the way you remember allah whichever dhikr you do then that dhikr that remembrance of allah it's come out of your tongue your mouth subhanallah say subhanallah allah's takbir has come out of your mouth and you don't even know what have you said with regards to allah now we'll be sat here great kalimat say alhamdulillah we will recite with allah's fadl his grace for us the protection for this world and the hereafter alhamdulillah such blessed gatherings these are the inshallah in these gatherings if we speak about isla some improvement we talk then be idhn lights from allah the discussion is just like the human beings about to go into hellfire but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala via that person who's speaking he speaks such words that he comes back from hell at that time from that learning who shaid tani doesn't want to allow this he says no no this fine this is this is according to my preference so allah ta'ala he encourages us that that person who's speaking via him such words will come if he comes by chance into the gathering he sits that person allah knows who's come with which desire he's come what love does he have with which heart is he presenting what desire does he have what pleading does he doing so allah sees that when he's come to my beloved gathering he's arrived then allah says let me deliver such words to this person that i attach to his heart and he saved from hell fire from jahannam this is allah taala's majlis we shouldn't waste it don't waste these gatherings allah hears everything sees everyone every single matter of us he's aware of so it doesn't matter how sinful we are deviated of the tracks we're naughty but we are allah servants and we are the umma of his beloved habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam think this so never give up never lose hope as long as allah has given you breath and the body 
even if you're hundred years old, but Allah has given me strength that I can move, I can pick up a tasbih, I can eat. Until that time, man, that Allah's grace and favor every second is with us, for us, and they always, we should try, and we'll try that Allah, Allah will try, Allah wants that we are saved from Jannah. No, it doesn't matter if you're sinning, oh, leave it, let me give up now. What difference does it make? Oh, forget it, I'm too old now. Why should I do amal now? My life will pass away. No, never give up, never lose hope, never lose hope in Allah. Till the last second, even if it's the time of death, the angels of death, you can't see them. Until that time from your mouth, Allah, if He enables you to say, Allah, forgive me. Allah Ta'ala says to that stage, all the sins you did, all of them are forgiven. All of them are forgiven. Tell me, did he do ibadah? He's lying down on his deathbed. He didn't say anything special. But his iman, alhamdulillah, enabled him to say from his tongue, Allah, forgive me.